So, you're moving to Warrensburg, Missouri, or you're PCSing to Whiteman Air Force Base, and you have no idea what Warrensburg is like or what kind of history it has. I can help you with that. Today, we're gonna talk about the history of Warrensburg, Missouri. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below because I make a new video every single week all about Warrensburg around White Man Air Force Base and you're gonna wanna get notified. Also, my contact information is right down there and I get texts and emails and calls from people all over the world and I love it. So if you have a question, if you're moving here and just wanna talk to someone about this town, text me, call me. I love talking to people. Today, I'm actually really excited about today. We are going to talk about some of the history of our little town, Warrensburg, Missouri. And I'm going to meet a very cool man by the name of Mr. Bruce Uller, who is the president of the Johnson County Historical Society. And he's gonna walk me through some really cool old buildings, the county courthouse, the museum, and kind of talk to me about some of the really interesting things about how our awesome little town was founded. I actually think I'm gonna make this into a series of videos because there's so many cool stories about Warrensburg and so many cool interesting like ghost stories and like famous happenings in this town that I can't even touch upon all of them in one video. So here you go, video one. of the Johnson County Historical Society and he has graciously agreed to be on my YouTube channel to talk about the history of Lawrenceburg. Well, Eva, we're very happy to have you here, especially to find out your family has deep roots and long roots in this county and that you're a member of our society all these years, so that's yeah. fantastic. But it's your first time in the old courthouse. This is my first time in the old courthouse. I can't believe that. I well, know. you're going to enjoy this, so we're staying inside the old County Courthouse in Johnson County, Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, they started construction on this about 1838. It was completed in 1842. Uh, it's, as, it's as original as we can keep it now. Uh, I keep it renovated and keep it up for tours, but it's the only one left in the state of Missouri of this style. And of course, there's a couple of famous things happening here. One extremely famous and another one that people may not know so much about. So we'll be glad to talk about that. And what here that dark stuff is point. on there? Do you do you know what that is? This no. These are old old rubber bands that have sealed on there, and we have to scrape those off. That time of year where that's really but that's and then the old courthouse. Over the years, they, it just same company integrity is going to be both built as we're gathering. But we've had some money That's in so the crazy. Account, and then, can you open that one up? Sure. So you can the see it. Not Let's see, this is the adult room. Yeah. The worst thing is deferred maintenance because we haven't done maintenance up here for a this long time. This is. Wow. Yeah. That's so crazy. The city council they just 
It's just opened up and and wow. Oh man, that's hard to read. Yeah, it is. And then you, you know, you have other things in here. Sometimes it's just the one thing, but it just depends on what all. There is a warrant for his arrest. Oh wow. So. So being in Johnson County, Missouri, uh, this of course was the frontier at one time. It was a really, really awful and wild place to live. That's so cool. <laughs> and terrifying, and but kind of cool. Because the white settlers didn't come out here until about the 1820s. Oh wow. But the French of course owned this, mm -hmm. and in 1803 it became part of the Louisiana Purchase. Oh wow. And then Missouri came along and became a state in 1821. Mm -hmm. And not long after that, then we, we became a county in 1834. So, Warrensburg, the town, this was founded by a blacksmith, right? Yeah, his name was Martin Warren. Mm -hmm. He'd been in the Revolutionary War oh, wow. and, and moved out here. And I think what's interesting, the property we're on right now, uh -huh. he used to own. Uh -huh. And of course, we're sitting at the crossroads of two Indian trails. Oh, cool. <laughs> and Mark Warren's cabin, where he lived, he had a three-room cabin where for his blacksmith shop, yeah. is where today's post office is today. Wow. And he, he put his blacksmith shop there because an Indian trail went by, uh -huh. and as the white settlers started moving in this area, the trail was there. Yeah. So this location was chosen by a group of three okay. to kind of lay out the town. Uh, again, there wasn't anything here except an Indian trail that went west and yeah. an Indian trail that went north and south. Yeah. So this site was chosen primarily by Daniel Morgan Boone, who was the, who was the son of Daniel Boone. Hey! I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, we have so much history in this town. We have a tremendous amount of history. It's just never been told before. Wow. Uh, We're going to work on that. We're going to learn a lot today. <laughs> uh, but I think you know a lot of this. You know, you grew up here, and I again, did. your family was been around here forever in this county. Long time. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about this courthouse. I know it saw a lot of trials, a lot of interesting and kind of spooky things. What's your favorite? Two of my favorites. Okay. One would be there was a murder right about this spot, even you know where you're standing. Oh my gosh. It was election day, 1861. Uh -huh. So we're okay. looking at the end of February, 1861. The okay. Civil War has not started. Okay. But the roots of the Civil War had been around for a long time. Yeah. And this county was pretty much split down the middle between pro-slavery, anti-slavery, uh -huh. Union, Confederate, which would come along during the war. Mm -hmm. So on election day, Marsh Foster, who was an anti-slavery person, mm -hmm. was just elected county clerk. Okay. Now the county clerk's office is upstairs above us. Okay. And on election day, the man he defeated, McCown, was not happy, and they got into an argument here. Uh huh. Uh, right here on election day. Okay. And on election day, the son of McCown came over, and as we understand, five shots were fired, and the last shot hit Marsh Foster pretty much in the middle of the chest. Okay. And he dropped dead. Whoa. The McCowns were arrested immediately, put in the jail, more for their safekeeping. Yeah. Because they might have just been hung immediately after that. Yeah. Well, the one who actually shot ran off, and there's a long story about what happened to him. But people will say that this may be the first martyr of the Civil War, was Marsh Foster. Oh, man. The Civil War roots of it and the worst of the Civil War in the early years were right here between Missouri and Kansas. Yes. Missouri came in as a, as a slave state mm -hmm. in the Missouri Compromise. Kansas territory came in as free. Yeah. But the balance was Maine came in as a free state, Missouri came in as a slave state. Oh, wow. And this led to more or less the murder of Marsh Foster. Right here. That's crazy. <laughs>
And this is our uh, Johnson County History Museum, correct? Correct. It's Johnson, Johnson County, Missouri Historical Society. It's been around since 1920. Oh, awesome. We probably have 200,000 clippings in there from newspapers over the years. All uh -huh. these wonderful volunteers will clip newspaper articles. So we have a lot of family files. Yeah. So no doubt there's files of oh, your family I'm history sure in here. My dad, my grandfather, yeah. my great grandfather were uh, feisty, I hear. <laughs> well, we may find out today in the files. Yeah. Um, so how do you uh, how do you see the museum? How do you go to it? What are the hours? Yeah, we're open Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. Okay. One to four every day, and Thursday nights we're open till eight. Oh, awesome! And then if we have a group, like we just had maybe two months ago, we had about 200 first graders, parents, oh, wow. and teachers out here, mm -hmm. where we walked them and we did we had people in costume. Yeah. So they they had a tour of the old courthouse behind mm -hmm. us, the Elm Schoolhouse, which is down below us, mm -hmm. and this museum. And the people giving that information were dressed in costume period from about the 1890s or so. Uh, we are processing circuit court cases oh, to wow. be microfilmed at the state archives of Jeff City. Oh, wow. So we have to take everything apart in every case, put it in chronological order, mm -hmm. and get it ready to be. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so it's much. It's a pretty uh, interesting case sometimes. I, I just had a murder one. <gasps> oh, <laughs> old it, murders are good. Even just told me old are. murders are good. New ones are not good. <laughs> <laughs> in Numbnut. This took place in Numbnut. Mm -hmm. You don't mind if I get a little bit of footage of you guys just, okay, well, just, me, and just do doing, doing your thing? Well, I'm not. I, I'm just getting started. I know what's going <laughs> Yeah. But see, this is where the real magic happens, because y'all are the reason that this stuff doesn't get just forgotten. That's exactly right. <laughs> did all of the 1800s, and they've been microfilmed, so we're starting working on the 1900s. That's so awesome. Do you mind if I come get a... These are kind of the things that you go through. Wow. That's so cool. I want to find some of this terrible writing we have. <laughs> <laughs> some, of it, some of it's beautiful, and some of it's like, what is that? If you're, if you want to become a member of the Johnson County Historical Society, how do you do that? Well, it's really easy, Ava. You're a member, so you know how it works. I know. Uh, there you we go. have a couple of membership levels. Uh -huh. We have a basic for thirty dollars, uh -huh. and then we have uh, one that offers more benefits for hundred dollars. And then we have one that if you'd like to be a benefactor mm -hmm. and put a name on the plaque mm -hmm. and honor somebody, it's $500. Awesome. But you can either come in and sign up. Mm -hmm. You can go on our Facebook page. You can go on our website. It's all Johnson County, Missouri Historical Society. It's real easy to join and we'd love to have new members. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe down below because I make a new video every single week all about living in Warrensburg and you're gonna wanna get notified. Also, my contact information is right down below. If you got any questions, if you just wanna reach out and ask me about if we have an ice cream shop in town, we do, Myers Market, it's amazing. Do it, call me, text me, send me an email. I love talking to y'all, bye.